happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Today, today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I had this idea where I've acquired all of these things over the past couple of years working on my cars and just having an apartment garage that maybe isn't the largest and you can't really fit that much stuff into it. So you kind of have to get crafty about the things that you use and where you put your tools and all of the products that I've just acquired over the past couple of years. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a video kind of showing all of the things that I find super useful that I use all of the time in my garage because I do get a lot of random questions on Instagram and in the YouTube comments. What is this tool? What is that device? Where do you find these lights? What kind of products do you use? This and that. So I figured I would just make one video that kind of answers all of it. So really this is almost like a YouTube Cribs but just like my garage, like an apartment complex garage, like how can you get by having an apartment complex garage, constantly working on cars, and just the things, the products, and the tools that I feel necessary if you're always working on your car. Now I also want to invite any of you guys with suggestions or add-ons to comment down below in the comment section Let's help each other out. If there are tools that you use every day in your garage or something that maybe I missed, please comment down below because I, for one, can use your suggestions and I'm sure other people on this video or in the, in the comment section could also use your help. So if you have anything that you'd like to add, go ahead and add it down in the comment section. But let's turn this camera around, start the video. I'm literally just gonna show you guys everything that I use the most. The most noticeable thing in this garage that I get the most comments about are going to be the garage LEDs. So I actually have these LEDs in both of my garages. I have it in the M2 garage and the M3 garage. I use these all the time. Obviously I use them all the time. Every time I come in here, I use them. And they honestly just do such a great job of actually lighting up this garage so you can see. When you are renting in an apartment and you just are renting a garage like this, a smaller garage, you obviously cannot do major renovations. You can't really go in and install a professional lighting system. You just need something cheap and basic to get the job done. And it actually looks really cool for videos and photos. These little LEDs are awesome. I've had them for over a year now in both garages and they work flawlessly. They all just string together by these little cables and they're super easy to install and you just put them up all the way around the entire garage and they help tremendously when it comes to being able to see just like the paint and the car and the tools. I highly suggest you guys check these out. Everything that we talk about here today is going to be linked down in the description so you guys can find it. And like I said, if you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and drop them down below. Moving on to the next thing that I most recently acquired would be my jack. So this jack is fantastic, I love it. It's super, super low, so it fits under most lowered cars. And obviously I found this on Amazon, came in a couple of days, packaged really, really well. The reviews were super good on it. And it's made by Powerbuilt. It's the Extra 4000 Killer Jack. Seriously a killer jack. I got a couple of jack stands, because obviously when you're working on the car, you're gonna wanna jack the car up. So the other things are, obviously I have these like organizers on each side, and I'm thinking in the middle, I'm gonna put like an actual workbench that I can use. This little thing I got at Target, and it's just like falling apart. It's got rips in it for me cutting things on it. Yeah, it's just, it was like 20 bucks, but you get the idea. I'm gonna put like an actual wooden workbench right here that's a little bit higher up because this right now is almost down to my knees. So it's, it's super short for how tall I am. I need something that's a little bit higher up to work on, something that's more stable. I will update you guys on that. I found a couple on Amazon that I think I'm gonna buy one of them. Moving over here, this is kind of where I keep like all my tools and stuff. My extra LEDs, random tools, uh, like old halos, I got some applicator pads. I mean, I have stuff in here from all of my builds and I just kind of keep everything just in case I need something, a random LED or a random light bulb or a random screw. I just kind of keep it all in there. So these little organizers are pretty cool. They're even like a carbon fiber texture, which is funny, but I have a bunch of these little organizers and I got these on Amazon as well. You will absolutely need some latex gloves. I went for the black ones. If you work on your car a lot, you know the struggle. Just constantly washing your hands, they get dried out. Get some gloves, I'm telling you make a big difference. I used this organizer down here for any old parts, like bigger parts. I have my old black view in here, uh, radar detector box, uh, some fuses down there, bunch of random stuff. 
I always keep like 30 extra fuses on hand just in case I need them. And then down below, I just have a bunch of storage stuff. Uh, my old rod bearings are in there from the M3. I also have my old plates from the M2. Here is my breaker bar. I use this all the time. Definitely need a breaker bar in your garage. This thing is super sick. I just bought this the other day. And the reason I bought this is because we're about to jump into the performance series for the M2. And I'm doing all the modifications myself in the garage. I didn't want to be crawling around on the garage floor. The reason that I love this little pro lift bench slash creeper is because it's a bench slash creeper. So anytime that I'm in the garage and I am, let's say I'm cleaning the car, detailing it, working on the wheels, whatever, this thing is perfect because now I have a bench. And not only is this a bench, but it also folds down into a creeper so I can get underneath the car. The wheels are really nice, rolls around really good, and it was super easy to put together. It wasn't expensive, I think it was like 50 bucks, 60 bucks, something like that. But um, yeah, it's really well made. The reviews were super good on it. Look man, the honest truth is, your boy, I'm getting old. I needed something so I wasn't constantly bending down when I was cleaning wheels or kneeling on the ground. I needed some sort of chair or stool that was on wheels so I could roll around. So this doubles is like a good little detailing stool as well as a creeper. So you can lay down and get under the car. So there's this little pin on the side. You just pop that up, pull back. And it looks like that. Just fold it down. So now when I'm on the ground working on the car, I can just creep under there and I'm not getting super dirty. I can move around. I also really like this because when you fold it up into a stool, like so, it doesn't take up a lot of space. You can just kind of like park it in the corner and it's not in the way of everything. So like I said, I don't have a lot of room here, guys. This is just an apartment complex garage. These aren't that big, so it's nice to just be able to fold it up, shove it in the corner, and it's out of the way. Moving on to the next thing, shop vac. Yes, I am OCD when it comes to cleaning my cars. This shop vac is awesome. You can also put it in reverse mode where it's just blowing out air. It's kind of nice when you're drying off the car or just blowing out dust that's on the interior, but obviously vacuuming, it's a must have for any garage. You guys have seen me use this before. I use it all the time when I'm detailing or washing my car to dry it off. This thing is absolutely killer. I highly suggest you guys check it out. Every time that I make a video on this and people purchase it, they always DM me and they're like, dude, game changer. This thing is an absolute game changer when you are drying your car. If your car is ceramic coated, it makes an even bigger difference and it's so easy to keep it clean. You can dry the entire car when you're washing it with one battery, no problem. So obviously this is like a leaf blower. I also use it to clean out the garage. This right here is probably a tool that I use close to the most, torque wrench. Get yourself a torque wrench. If you guys are working in your garage, taking off your wheels, doing really anything automotive based, you're gonna need a torque wrench. These are like random brushes that I've acquired over the time for detailing. This little guy is awesome. I use this on the interior and stuff. Pretty cool little brush. I use it mostly on wheels though. These are like wheel brushes. I use those when I'm detailing the cars. This is a clay block. Use this for claying. 3M and adhesive. I have a ton of different adhesives. This is just like a flat tape. Very, very flat double-sided tape for things on the interior. This is obviously 3M Extreme Hold. I always have a roll of this Extreme Hold 3M around because anytime you're working on the car, like any carbon parts or anything, any wings, anytime you're working on that stuff, you're gonna need 3M. A Little bit of painter's tape if I'm doing some buffing or anything like that. Applicator pads, tire shine pads, stuff like that. Fishing line, anytime you're taking off anything with adhesive, it's good to use fishing line. Electrical tape, obviously. This little guy is pretty sweet. When you are working on the interior of your car and you're trying to get those weird cramped window spots, you just use this wand and you can get in there. This thing's awesome. That way you're not like breaking your back trying to reach these crazy little weird spots. You can just reach up there with this and get it all clean. All right, so when it comes to products, the majority of the time, <laughs> you're gonna see a lot of Ethos products up here. And honestly, that's, that's all I use. For the most part, I just use, this stuff is pretty good. This Optimum Car Wax stuff is pretty good. But for the most part, you guys, Ethos are the products that I use the most. 
and they have this new Ceramic Pro wax that they sent me. I used that on the hood the other day, it's really nice. This uh, detail spray is actually like a short term ceramic spray. And then the car shampoo, this stuff is awesome. I use this all the time. I just used the ceramic shampoo over the weekend, worked out great. And then ceramic refresh, uh, wheel cleaner, isopropyl alcohol get a lot of this. I use this all the time. This is a great way to clean anything on the car before you put adhesive on. Interior detailer, this stuff smells awesome. Foam party, I don't have a foam cannon, but when I do get a foam cannon, I'll try this stuff out. And then obviously like tire shine, stuff like that. I really, really like the Ethos products. I've been working with these guys for over a year and I stand by their products. They make really, really good stuff. And I'm not just like pitching that to you guys because I am affiliated with them, but they are seriously a fantastic company and they put a lot of time and research into developing products at an affordable price. All right, so when it comes to ceramic C-Quartz, I've been using the mess out of this C-Quartz stuff and I love it. I am in no way, shape or form affiliated with C-Quartz, but this is the stuff that they sell on Amazon and it works. I'm telling you guys, it works. I've put it on everything carbon on this car has been ceramic coated with this stuff. I also ceramic coated the wheels. I also ceramic coated my brake calipers, the carbon fiber side skirts, all the black trim. Pretty much everything on this car is ceramic coated. C-Quartz also makes a ceramic coating that is for the entire car. I haven't used that yet. I'm actually using Ceramic Pro 9H on the entire car, but Ceramic Pro does not sell to consumers. So I am gonna try out the C-Quartz stuff on the entire car and I'll let you guys know how that works out. Window cleaner is a big one. A lot of people like to use different window cleaners. Griots is pretty well known as a good window cleaner. I personally, I've been using this isopropyl alcohol as window cleaner. It just seems to work the best. Like it doesn't leave any streaks. It always cleans everything off. Even if you have like bugs or like old adhesive, this stuff is super strong. You just don't want to get too much of it on like the rubber or the vinyl or like any plastics because it will kind of dry it out over time. But this stuff works wonders, man. And that's why I, I keep so much of this stacked around. This right here is also a fantastic addition that I recently got. And it came with an electric impact drill set and then also like your standard drill as well as a rechargeable battery. I have the charger over on the other side of the garage. I just let this charge when I'm not here. I used to take my wheels off by hand, but once I got this, I knew right away I've been making a huge mistake for a long time. This thing just makes everything, like my workflow and everything so much faster and such a breeze. And also like a lot of these things are not that expensive. I took a lot of time and read reviews and tried to order the products that I thought would be good that were relatively cheap. And so far I've been using this for about a month and and I love it. A heat gun, you guys should definitely have a heat gun. If you are pulling off any like your old spoiler or anything with 3M, heat gun makes a world of a difference trying to get that off. Um, these are for people who don't have wheel studs. You just screw that in while you're putting on your wheel and it helps you align it. It's like a wheel align peg, a wheel stud peg or something like that. And then that allows you to just line up the wheel easier when you're putting it on. That's if you don't have studs. I have studs, so I don't really need those. These are obviously all my tools. Now I will fully admit my whole tool section is it needs work. I need a proper toolbox. I need proper tools. These are just like a bunch Bunch of miscellaneous and random tools that I've acquired over the years. I've got a bunch of crap in here and then a bunch of stuff in here and underneath there. Tools are expensive, man. There is no doubt about it. Like tools are really, really expensive. And I want to make sure when I do spend a good amount of money, I am going to get like a really nice tool chest and some really, really nice tools like Snap-on or Milwaukee. However, I think I'm going to wait to do that until I move into a house because I, I would like to get a legit like tool chest rather than just like acquiring a bunch of little tools here and there. I wanna buy like a whole package at some point. So I will keep you guys updated when I end up doing that. This is a magnet. How many times have you dropped a nut or a bolt while you were working on the engine or somewhere in the car where it's like easy to lose that little metal piece. This right here is a lifesaver. So obviously I acquired this out of necessity. I think I was working on the N20, the F30 inlet pipe and I dropped that stupid little, I think it's like a 10 mil bolt. I dropped that thing and I had to dig down there with this guy. I went to Home Depot and literally bought it during the install and, and had to dig down there and find that little bolt. So yeah, this was definitely purchased out of necessity, but it is a game changer and I highly suggest that all of you 
get one in your garage. Also, something that I always keep in my car, this detailing bag. So this detailing bag is really cool. It's a weighted bag, so it doesn't fall over while you're driving around. It's got all of these little pouches for like your applicator pads and things of that nature. Oh, also GT Shine, fantastic towels, you guys. Like probably the best towels that you can get for detailing. They're super soft. This is a window one, and this is like their Royal Plush, super, super soft drying towel. They have little slots for all of your stuff fit in there. Applicator pads, more rags. It's got some storage underneath here. I usually put like 3M up here if I'm needing it. The thing that I like the most about it is the fact that it's weighted. So it doesn't just like fall over while you're driving around. That was like the number one thing. I used to have a different bag and when I would put my detailing stuff in it or like my bucket, I would throw my bucket in there, everything would fall out and go all over the place. This one, it's weighted so it doesn't move. Retractable extension cord. So obviously you can power up your shop vac or if you have like your Dremel or your heat gun, you can just use this guy. Pretty nice to have. I have a couple of these, one in both garages and it's just a necessity and it's obviously just wall mounted here so it's out of the way. Also, I just remembered I have one little thing that I wanna show you guys on the M2 that I did the other day that I think is it's kinda cool, it's kinda cheesy, kinda cool. Carbon fiber door latch cover. It's the details, right? It's the details. It's actually pretty cool though, I'm not gonna lie. Kind of dig it. This is what they actually look like. I mean, they sent me four of them, but obviously I don't have a four door, so I don't have four door latches. I just need to use two, but they're pretty cool. I'll link them down below if you guys are interested. Metal on the inside, 3M adhesive. You literally just stick them on there. They're like 14 bucks. This. So there's a company on Instagram that sent this out to me. The Rome Wild Car Crack Vac. Dude, check this thing out. It's actually pretty cool, not gonna lie. All these little brushes, these are, these are great to use on the interior. All of these little like crevices where dust and like dirt just build up, you can really get in there and get that dust out. And I actually, I, I've used it a few times and it works pretty well. You literally just roll it and it just picks stuff up. So it's like a good little mobile tool, you know? If like you don't have a vacuum and you're going to a car show and quick you wanna like clean it up, just give her the old roly poly, bro. So then it also has this little like pen part and you can get in there, like fine tooth. This is like an OCD heaven right here, man. Just get all up in there, dude. All the buttons, do you know the iDrive gets all kinds of nasty junk up there, all this stuff. So yeah, this thing's pretty sweet, man. I didn't really expect a lot out of it and now I just keep it in my car because I kind of like it. Tell me what you guys thought about this video. It's like totally random. I didn't do any car content today because I feel like there's a lot of people that can probably relate if you don't have a house yet and you're like renting a garage and you're just looking for the tools to get you by to the next spot. That's kind of like the setup I have right now. It's like I'm a little bit in limbo, but I've acquired these tools to kind of get the job done, like get everything done that's necessary for right now in this little garage while it's not really mine. So I can't make like major renovations, but um, but yeah, I don't know. Do you guys tell me what you thought about the video? If you have anything to add, like I said before, let's help each other out. Comment down below. Tell me if there's any other products that you guys wanna add to this. I just wanted to kind of show you guys like what I use and I'm hoping that it just brings some value to you, helps you out a little bit. But we're gonna go ahead and wrap this one up, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please do subscribe, comment down below, like this video, hit that bell notification. Just like that, this video's over. We're out. Peace.